Jane King, live at the NASDAQ, brought to you by Circulus Digital Media, Indiana's locally owned digital media expert. Jane starts with the news of home sales here in Indianapolis. Jane, it sounds like experts are starting to notice a drop in prices. Good morning. That's right. Good morning to you, Scott and Kylie. So 50% of homes for sale in Indianapolis in July had a price cut. Now, Redfin says that compares with 30% in July of 2021. There were several U.S. cities that saw similar price cuts last month. Now, the Federal Reserve's efforts to tamp down inflation has sent mortgage rates above 5%, and that has put the brakes on the housing market. Well, coffee and pastry shops are avoiding the inflation hit that restaurants have seen. Analysts, economists, and coffee drinkers say it's the pleasure of the relatively small indulgence that is happening during a time of bell tightening. Well, Movie Pass will relaunch in a test form on Labor Day. The only way to use the service is to sign up on a wait list beginning Thursday. Now, the first users who come off the wait list can choose among three pricing tiers. There's $10, $20, and $30 a month, which gives credits to see a certain number of movies each month. And the first two episodes of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, will be aired in select movie theaters two days ahead of the Amazon Prime uh, video debut. But with a record-setting price tag of a billion dollars, it is the most expensive TV show ever made. The new Amazon series is all set to air on Prime Video this fall on September 2nd. Well, Wall Street ended sharply lower yesterday. A lot of nervousness about the global economy. And we've got the Fed meeting this week in Wyoming. They're probably going to talk about interest rates there. So the Dow down 643 points. And looks like a steady start today, so no big rebound in store, at least not yet. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Jane, we are entering into what should be the beginning of Apple season, but it sounds like that might get pushed back a little bit. (laughs) <laughs> Could be several orchards open for the season over the weekend, but others are delaying for a few weeks due to the drought. Now, the orchards, mainly in the Midwest and the West, say the apples just need more time to ripen. So the orchard tours and festivities delayed for a week or so to Labor Day. Right around Labor Day, most of them expect to be open. I don't know. The one by my house is ripe. We always walk by and wait and wait and wait. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. That's one of my favorite times in it. Indiana. Yeah. Like the fall. Yep. Orchards mm-hmm. and pumpkins and... And then two weeks later, all the bees are everywhere. They're on the ground. It's all smashed up. But right now, it's all good. It's great. Jane, come back home again. We'll we'll get some fresh ones for you. It's 726 right now.